COVID-19 may have forced big changes to tomorrow's funeral for Prince Philip, but his touch is all over much of the day's details. New updates on the ceremony, scaled down and socially distanced. The guest list for the service at Windsor's St. George's Chapel includes 30 people, the national legal limit for funerals. In normal times, a ceremonial royal funeral would have seen the coffin on a horse-drawn carriage with all the trimmings, as it was here for the funeral of the Queen Mother. But for the Duke, a personal touch, a modified classic British Land Rover that the Duke himself helped to design to carry a coffin, his own, to his final resting place. Another change, all the royals will wear civilian dress. Usually royals with military affiliations would be wearing their uniform. And instead of a grand parade, the Duke's coffin will be taken on a short procession within the castle. Princess Anne and Prince Charles will walk behind, followed by Edward and Andrew. And then in the third row, Princes William and Harry. But they won't be side by side. Their cousin Peter Phillips will be between them. Now there is an explanation for that in the sense that they are the three grandsons and perhaps it makes sense for them to go in a line. But it is hard not to read into it as a sign that William and Harry, the significant differences between them are still very much prevail. Despite the friction within the family, the royals are projecting unity in support of the Queen. This week, Charles and Camilla, visibly moved by the outpouring of sympathy from the public, clear to see in the thousands of floral tributes and messages left for Her Majesty in the wake of her husband's death. The service will take place Saturday at Windsor, where the Queen and Prince Philip spent most of the pandemic and his final days together. Julia McFarlane, ABC News, London.